What type of advice would you give to comp science major trying to get in the trying to get work in the industry? Uh, I would look aggressively for work, apply between 30 to 100 places a day, and don't just rely on your degree to do all of the work for you. Uh, how much time did it take me to become a programmer? About three to six months until I started getting work. So I like to use that as a metric for how long it took me because once you start earning an income from it, you're a programmer. I was also coding between 12 to 16 hours a day. So then it helped me become a developer and get those skills a lot faster. That's what I would recommend for you. Tips for Python and Django beginners. So the tips I would give you are master the fundamentals with Python, learn the basics, really get your basics down. Be able to solve lots of coding problems, maybe even tinker around with hacker rank or code wars. And those have the platforms that Project Euler, be able to solve problems, be able to do simple projects with just purely Python. So say you wanna do tic-tac-toe or you wanna do rock, paper, scissors, simple projects be able to do them with Python then once you do that then jump into the tier of web development which is gonna be Django so then start messing around with Django and create projects with Django okay increase the layer of complexity one step at a time don't introduce too many things at once if you're a complete beginner to web development don't jump into web development right away with Django start with flask flask has less magic flask is a lot simpler once you get the hang of web development, build a few simple projects with Flask, then move over to Django because it's the framework for perfectionists with deadlines and it allows you to build things really, really quick, keeps you super productive, but it has a little bit more magic than Flask, which means it's a little bit more complex inherently than Flask. So that's why you wanna start with Flask first, understand web development and how routes work and how URLs work and how views work, things like that the MVC, you know, the model view controller type of mechanism works, then switch over to Django and it'll be a smooth transition and you're gonna be a great, great developer. So that is the tip for a Python slash a Django beginner. How can one know if he's a developer, if he creates something and gets paid for it, if he works, if he or she works for a company or a freelancing client. If you're not getting paid for it, you're a fake. If you're getting paid for something, then you're a professional. It's just as simple as that. Python, because the snake is cool. Easiest programming language is more popular than Kim Kardashian. Google is built off of Python. Instagram is built off of Python. NASA uses Python. Spotify uses Python. So it's very simple to start, and you can go as complex as you want. That's why Python for me. How did you advertise yourself in the beginning to get clients? Craigslist, Wiseant, Take Lessons. Those were my main platforms that got me a lot of clients. Phil says, so I just learned Scrapey on how to get to store data into files or a database. Just trying to apply for uh, a lot of jobs right now, five to 10 a day. Phil, try to get to 20 to 100 a day, but good job with five to 10 a day. Um, and storing files and stuff, learn how databases work. So learn SQL and learn Postgres and writing stuff to a Postgres database. That's gonna be your key to winning. So you wanna understand SQL and databases with Python and then you will win. Best source for learning web scraping, go to my YouTube, uh, go to YouTube Clever Programmer, type in web scraping. I have some good content on web scraping. Uh, yep, Tom Court, you can be a data scientist and work remotely, but data scientist, becoming a data scientist is very difficult. So uh, I like to generally break, I would like to recommend people break in through doing web development first, then break into data science. Books for web development, I personally never went through any books on web development, I just did a lot of stuff through YouTube, my own learning, and Udacity. Do you need a good university for web development? You do not need a good, you do not need a good degree from a good university for web development, you just need good skills. A piece of paper that's really expensive isn't gonna get you anywhere. Work on developing the skills, be self-taught, always be learning the newest thing. Develop the skill of learning new things really fast and apply to lots of places really aggressively, you will do really well. What do I do nowadays? Full-time, clever programmer, build a business. How do you learn API? YouTube is gonna be your best friend, my friend. Look up APIs, look up Python, learn APIs. They're a complex concept if you don't know it, but once you get it, it's really, really simple, it's beautiful. So again, I'm gonna answer this question again. How did I get my first clients? Craigslist, Wiseant, Take Lessons. Best resources for Django, YouTube, 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 and coding for entrepreneurs. 
he was one of my favorite resources for Django. Look up on YouTube. Okay, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I am here at Starbucks. Thank you. I love you guys. I love your face. This is Kazi. I'll see you in the next live stream.